hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this about logo reveal animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin but with the help of adobe photoshop and adobe after effects and if you want to learn more about logo animation then don't forget to check out my logo animation masterclass course in of udemy link is available in the description and as always if you are new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates so without wasting any more time let's get started so first of all here we are in photoshop i have this upbound logo over here you can easily get this logo from google and uh, otherwise i'll provide the link of this photoshop file in the description so you can download it and practice it along with them what i did in this file over here if you are watching my tutorials then uh, you guys know that i have always separate my uh, each and every alphabet on separated layer over here i have separated this circle on separated layer and each and every alphabet is on separated layer okay so i'll save this file then i'll go to the adobe after effects and i'll create a new composition i'm going to name it as main animation as always and width is 1920 height is 180 frame rate is 30 and duration is one minute long and background color is white color and simply hit ok then go to choose grid and guide option and simply hit on title selection then i'll press ctrl i on my keyboard and i'll select my photoshop file footage instead of composition written layers and sizes and simply hit import and hit ok and simply double click to open this comp simply select all of them hit ctrl c go to the main animation and hit ctrl v then right click new and create one null object select all of them and make it apparent with this null select this null press s and let's make the scale 50 and if you want then you can adjust the scale according to your needs i'm going to make it 50 only and i'll try to adjust the position properly at the center and then i'll delete this null object then i'm going to select all of them and i'll press p like this and simply by holding shift select all the position like this and right click and choose separate dimension for each and every one of them <coughs> okay then we will focus on this animation so i'll select this i'll create one keyframe at y zoom in a little bit let's go to around 10 frames and let's move this over here go 20 frames select first keyframe hit ctrl c ctrl v then go to around 1.5 frames and let's move this over here then go to somewhere around over here and copy first keyframe again now select those keyframe hit f9 to easy knees those keyframes so if you see we will get this kind of animation now uh, by holding alt i'm going to reduce the duration up to something like this or uh, let's say somewhere around like this then go to the graph editor right click and make sure to choose edit speed graph then zoom in a little bit go over here now uh, i'm going to select this handle hold shift move one handle over here and one handle over here this one should be over here select this and this one should be over here like this okay then select this again move one handle over here select this move one handle over here select this move one handle over here and move this handle over here like this okay then after that select this uh, hit page down button one time create one keyframe at x and one keyframe at y select those keyframes and hit uh, f9 okay then uh, go somewhere around four seconds select this change the x position from here and change the y position over here somewhere around like this and in middle of that i'll select this i'll change the y position over here go over here again move this over here like this so if you see we will get something like this okay and now over here we need to do certain changes as you guys know <coughs> that this uh, thing is coming fast from upwards so we have to do certain things over here select this exposition keyframes go to the graph editor first of all select this and hit f9 then select this 
and move this graph over here select this and let's move this graph a little bit over here so if you see we'll get something like this it will look like that it's going faster then we will select this y position select this select this let's move one over here and move this handle over here like this okay so what we did over here uh, i'll select this x key, uh, keyframe go to the graph editor you have to adjust this graph like this then you have to select the first y position keyframe you have to go to the editor uh, and you have to adjust this like this okay if you want then you can move this a little bit over here just like this like this if you want then adjust this also so if you see we will get something like this okay then at this point i'm going to select this last position y keyframes i'll go to the graph i'll select this and i'll move this uh over handle over here and this handle over here okay and adjust this over here select this and move this over here just like this so let's see this animation again okay and at this point i'll uh, hit page down button one time i'll again create one keyframe at x and one keyframe at y then i'll go somewhere around six seconds maybe and i'll copy first keyframe of y position hit ctrl c ctrl v and then this x position hit ctrl c ctrl v so if you see we will get something over here then in middle of that i'll select this and i'll move this over here okay just like this then we will select uh, all of this keyframes and by holding alt i can adjust this from here to here just like this okay and then go to the graph editor and first of all hit f9 to their graphs like this so if you see we will get something like this then we will select this y position graph let's move this over here select this hold shift move this handle over here and this handle over here move this handle over here select this and move this handle over here like this okay and if you want you can select those exposition keyframes over here and uh, you can move this handle over here and this handle over here like that okay then at this point i'll hit n so if you see this first we will get this then we will get this now hit u we will select all of these layers and we will hit ctrl d and we will bring them at the top and we will hide them then i am going to select these layers then go to around uh, two seconds i'll press s i'll create one keyframe then i'll press r i'll create one keyframe hit u go few frame forward let's make this uh, value but somewhere around minus and let's make this zero now select those keyframes and hit f9 go to the graph editor zoom in select this graph by holding shift move one handle over here and move one handle over here like this and enable the motion there also okay like this now let's do one thing now we have to adjust the keyframes properly at the time so i'll move this time indicator over here i'll select those keyframes hit ctrl x ctrl v go few frame forward oops uh, sorry select this u and hit ctrl x ctrl v then at this point i'll select this and i'll move this over here i'll select this i'll move this handles over here then select this handles and we have to move them according that ball moves then at this point select those
like this and then I'm going to select those layers and I'll move them over here like this and we will move this handle over here okay then press P for position create one keyframe at Y then press S again create one keyframe and hit U then uh, let's go somewhere around over here create one keyframe at X scale and one keyframe at Y go to the start and let's make the scale zero like this okay just like this and select those keyframes and hit F9 go few frame forward again create one keyframe at Y uh, only Y keyframe we don't need to create keyframe on scale at this point okay then select those keyframes and hit U uh, only position keyframes we are going to select so what I can do I can select those layers and I can press P so I can see only position keyframes so select only position keyframes go to the go to in middle of that and at this point uh, let's select those things and let's move them a little bit upward then select those position keyframes and go to the graph editor zoom in first of all hit f9 select this holding shift move one handle over here one handle over here one handle over here and one handle over here okay just like this and at the start it should the y position should be over here then go to the graph editor select this let's select this move this handle over here and this sorry select this and move this handle over here okay and now i want they should start to fall one by one so at this point I want this D should start to fall so I'll move this over here then at this point I want this N should start to fall so I'll move this over here and I'll also change the <coughs> Y position of this one over here then at this point this U should start to fall then I'll move this over here okay and let's move them over here okay so if you see this animation now we will get something like this okay and then simply select all of them and enable their motion blur so this is how you can create this kind of simple animation